the referenced account is currently logged out and may not be logged on to is an error that usually occurs when a user types in an incorrect password and tries for more than once or more than the allowed limit. So the first solution is to simply wait. Uh, if you have provided an incorrect password several times in a row, then your wait time might be 30 minutes at first. But if you are logged out for several times, then the wait can be of 24 hours. Uh, restart your computer and see that the key that is used to go to BIOS, just press the key and enter into BIOS. Um, on the main tab, check the system time and put any date and time for the near future or in far future. I'm just going to change the date and time of the system. So it would be better if you notice the keys that are used to change the field or values in the BIOS so that you don't get confused while you are changing the date. Now let's save the changes. Uh, you'll see a menu item uh, saying exit saving changes. Uh, just save the changes and then exit. This will restart your computer and you'll land on your operating system. As a first step, we'll try to activate the hidden administrative account. Uh, first, try to enter your password carefully. Uh, if you have waited and uh, once you have changed the date, try to enter your password again and see if that works. If it doesn't, then we'll go to the next method. On the login screen, uh, press on the power icon. One click on power icon, then choose restart while you are holding the shift key on your com on your keyboard. So holding the shift key and clicking on restart will not actually restart the computer but it will take you to the advanced startup options. So it will be a blue screen, just click on troubleshoot. In troubleshoot click on advanced option. In advanced option, click on command prompt. So before the computer presents you with the command prompt screen, it might ask you to re-enter your credentials. If you have any other account, you can use that to log in with um, the login to the command prompt. So once you are at the command prompt, just type in net space user space administrator, then a space, then a forward slash active colon yes. And then press enter. This will activate your hidden administrative account. Then you can use this account to log into your computer and re-enable or reset the password of your other account that you are not able to log into. So some users have suggested that switching the account, uh, you know, using a different account uh, to log in than going to switch the user account have worked for them. And so we'll press Control, Alt, and Delete. Uh, this will bring up the screen to choose our option. It sounds strange, but it has worked for some people. So we'll try this. So press Control Alt and Delete, click on Switch User, choose a different account, or if you are logged in with a different account, just type in 
just choose the account that you are not able to log into and then provide the password that is last known to you. Uh, once you're logged in, just change the password so that you remember the new one or keep the old one. Another option is to press Windows and R key and then type secpol.msc. This will open up local group policy editor. Once you're there, just expand um, security settings in security settings, expand account policies, and then account lockout policy. In account lockout policy, you'll see an option that says reset account lockout counter after this or account lockout threshold. The uh, account lockout threshold option should be set to zero so it will never locked out. Save it and type in your password, try to log in and see if that works. The other solution is to press Windows key and then run. Type in gpadit.msc. This will open up local group policy editor. Once you are in group policy editor, expand computer configuration, then Windows settings. In Windows settings, expand security settings, then expand account policy, and then click on password policy. In the password policy node, change the maximum password age to zero. This will set the password to never expire. You will see the text getting changed on this window. Click on OK and then try to log in into your account. So if this doesn't work, just uh, follow the steps in the start of this video to open command prompt. I'm just using PowerShell for now. Use command prompt and type in gp update space forward slash force. This should solve the problem. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel.